Hi everybody, it's Letitia. As you guys know, I am on a super big home decor kick. I mean, I've always been ever since I moved into my own place. As you saw in my previous thrifting video, I picked up a lot of secondhand home decor pieces for very cheap. And I don't know how people do this where they move into an apartment and they somehow are able to completely furnish and completely fill up all their spaces and fill up all their shelves because we've lived here for two to three years now. So it continues to be a work in progress. But as you know, it gets really expensive to do home decor. But these are some small apartment decor hacks that you can do to maximize on the space that you have. So the first hack that you wanna do is to build up. You wanna maximize all the wall space that you have. Even if it's a rental unit, you can have some very space-friendly wall hangings that you can put with command strip. You can add shelves. And even this like little nook in our bedroom, it's just this tiny little corner. So we took some really small shelves and they're white. So then they blend right into the space and we use decor and plants to fill out that space. I have a backdrop system as well, and I'll have my office decor. I've been doing an office reno, and that'll be a separate video, but I just wanted to note that this is hung right above the door, where it was a space that would have never been used, which brings me to my next point. If you have small knickknacks and you have small decor pieces, I think that these pieces are actually necessary for the home because that's what makes your home your home. It's really nice to come home and be able to look at something that just kind of, it, it just kind of greets you like, hey, this is your place, welcome home. Aside from the memorabilia pieces, almost everything on this shelf is thrifted. So everything you find can actually be very affordable. You just have to be a bit more creative about where you look for it. With this shelf is that one standout piece. This is a very random area. It's kind of like in between our entryway. It's an open concept kind of apartment. So the space used to be really like, this is where we hid all of our books behind the mirror. We had like random photo frames that we still haven't, I still haven't hung up. It was a huge eyesore and it was right in front, like right when you walk in the door, you'll see it. I know that there are lots of shelves that you can buy and technically a shelf can be just like the white ones that we have in our bedroom. They can be used to blend into the apartment and bring out your decor pieces but they can also be a standout piece on its own. In each room, I try to do my best to invest in one standout piece. When we first moved into our place, we didn't have a bed. So it wasn't until we moved into this apartment, so our second home, did we actually buy a bed frame. So everything we do, we try to save up for. We look for that one thing that we really want, and then you just wait. And I have this little nook in my apartment where it looks out to the street and it looks out to the park. And this is just the perfect armchair. When you find a chair that is so deep that you could like settle in on it perfectly and put up your feet, cause I always put up my feet, like I have my feet up right now. That is a piece that's worth investing in, in my case. I love that it's velvet and I love that it's surrounded by all my plants. There is always space for plants. And for some reason, it just never looks too cluttered and it adds so much life to your room no matter if you live in a studio apartment whatever if you could find space to even hang your plants there's always space for plants so we try to enforce very strict rules in this house is not to buy unitaskers especially in the kitchen well like one thing i have is a zucchini a zoodler and those that's a unitasker, it only does one thing. We really try to slim down on bulky pieces and choose multitasking items. Because it's just the two of us, we kind of decided to not get a dining table. We kind of put stools around the coffee table. Our coffee table also lifts up into a table. It's opened up the room a lot more and it felt like a worthy sacrifice. Sacrifice? I feel like some rules are meant to be broken, but you do want to stick to a relatively neutral color scheme. In terms of furniture, I'll only have a couple of accent color pieces, like the side table and then the copper floor lamp. Little pinkish tones from the copper on the side table bring it back to the bedroom with the headboard. If you guys are wondering, no, Stefan is not afraid of pink. He actually really likes it. I just wanted to preface that because I kind of feel self-conscious that people think that I just do all the decisions. And you also want to choose furniture with more delicate design, like this couch for example is not a couch to the floor, it has legs. And even though I put storage underneath, it still keeps things light. If you notice, a lot of my furniture still has legs. So it's not just a block of furniture. 
for the entire home, I follow this rule where it's unless it's for display, you put it away. If you see my washroom countertops, like I have a randomly big side of a countertop in my washroom. I know a lot of people will have their makeup in like clear cases and on their countertop, but I actually keep all of my makeup in the drawers. So you use your decor pieces to make your statement instead, instead of your clutter. So if you want to maintain that neutral color scheme, but your house is looking kind of drab and needs a bit of life to it, you can add texture instead of color. Like this super soft throw. It's just a nice off-white, but the way that the light plays with it, you know, like it, cre it creates a lot more dimension. You want to add warm textures and like in a land of stainless steel appliances, putting in pieces like this kind of makes you even feel warmer already. You know, like naked on a bearskin rug kind of homey and cozy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like home decor videos, let us know. And if you have any requests, let me know. I'll continue to be thrifting home decor and also working around the house because there's still a lot of stuff that we do need to work on. And thank you so much, Article, for collaborating with me on this video. It means a lot to be able to come home and actually feel at home and being able to express yourself through your home. So big thank you to Article, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!